why I'm switching from the Holy Land Lark Max to the DJI Mic 2 for my content creation when I'm on the go and I'm doing some vlogs when I need a wireless microphone. Let's talk about it. Hello everyone and welcome back to another video on my channel. I'm Photorabs. I make videos about photography, filmmaking, camera tech related reviews, unboxings, action cams, vlogging kits and so on. If you're interested, I highly appreciate if you go subscribe to my channel. That's a massive help. If you hit like under this video, that's a great help for my channel as well. And by the way, I have lots of affiliate links in the description below. You can check them out. You can save some money on photography and videography products that I've talked about previously on my channel and you can help my channel a lot so I can create lots of content on this platform for you guys. As I said in the beginning of this video I'm going to tell you why I'm switching from the Holy Land Lark Max to the DJI Mic 2. It's not gonna be a full comparison between these two microphones. I'll be doing another video comparing these two microphones in several scenarios. Stick around on my channel. I'll be doing this video very soon. Ring the bell so you can receive all the notifications about my future posts. But recently, even though I like the Holy Land Lark Max, it was my favorite microphone for the last few months. But when I saw the commercials for the DJI Mic 2, even though I have this unit for the DJI Osmo Pocket 3 Creator Combo and it's a very nice microphone but the commercials of this one and the full pack of this one with the receiver and all the other stuff made me take this decision and get this DJI Mic 2 so I decided to share with you why for me this DJI Mic 2 is better than the Holy Land Lark Max for the type of content creation that I do and for my style of content creation and because I'm not an audio expert that's why I went with this one. A quick disclaimer, I bought this microphone with my own money so DJI did not send it to me to try it for free, they did not sponsor my channel, they didn't pay me to do this video, that's why if you would like me to create more content like this, if you like the type of content that I create now, you can be a member and a supporter for less than two euros per month. And I'll put a link down in the description below so you can buy me a coffee if you want. And that's a great help also for my channel. Before I tell you why the DJI Mic 2 is better than the Holy Land Lark Max for the type of content creation that I do, let me tell you first what I love about the Holy Land Lark Max that I don't have at all with the DJI Mic 2. For example, check this charging box of the Holy Land Dark Max. You can operate it with one hand, you can open it and you can have access directly to the receiver and to the transmitters. And that's something that I really like because the magnet here, when it closes, it's a great magnet, a very strong one. And as you can see, it will not open at all. And that's something that I appreciate. But on the DJI Mic 2, you have this button here that you have to press in order to open the lid and have access to the receiver and transmitters. So this cannot be operated with one hand. You have to press and open. And that's something that I appreciate on the Holy Land Dark Max. It's much faster to have access to the microphones. I also like the form factor of the transmitter units of the Holy Land much better than this DJI Mic 2 because this one is a see-through one so it feels more plasticky and more cheap than this one. This one looks very solid, very professional, I mean, compared to this DJI Mic 2 and this is mainly an aesthetic preferences for me and it's not a big deal maybe for you but for me I think that this one looks much better than this DJI Mic 2. The third point that I prefer for the Holy Land Lark Max over the DJI Mic 2 is the carrying case. This carrying case from Holy Land, I really love it. It's really nice, it's really rugged and you can store the microphones inside with the charging case without problems at all and it's really easy 
to put this charging case inside. It fits perfectly and that's something that I really like. Very easy to carry and very easy to store and that's something that I appreciate. While for this DJI we have this carrying case. It looks like the carrying case of the DJI Pocket 3 but this one is a little bit smaller. So you can store everything inside and then you can put this battery here or this charging box here and it's really stiff personally i prefer the case for the holy land over this one both receivers are quite similar as you can see the dji is a little bit smaller a little bit lighter they are really similar we have touch screen on both of them we have a knob a dial so we can adjust the menu and have access to the settings quickly and that's something that i really appreciate for the holy land we cannot connect it to a smartphone or to an action camera without the right cable to go from the receiver unit to the smartphone while for the dji you can have this dongle here that comes inside of the box so we can plug it onto the receiver unit and then directly to the smartphone and that's something really nice so we don't have to work with lots of cables that can be connected directly to a smartphone and that's a great selling point for the DJI over the Holy Land Dark Max. They both have the noise cancellation feature so let's go out and try it and see which one can handle the noise better, which one can treat the audio in a better way than the other one and then we'll get back to the studio to continue this video. Let's do a test with these two microphones. I have them set to onboard recording the Holy Land Lark Max and the DJI Mic 2. I have the windshield on. It's not so noisy around, so I don't have the noise cancelling activated on both of these microphones. Let me know what do you think about the audio quality coming up from these two microphones. So now I'm recording with my Fujifilm there and I have these two microphones at about the same distance from my mouth so normally they should pick up the audio in the same way so now there is a car passing by let's see without the noise cancelling if the audio is good on these two microphones let me know what you think about that in the comment section below so now i'm recording with my fujifilm there and i have these two microphones at about the same distance from my mouth so normally they should pick up the audio in the same way so now there is a car passing by. Let's see without the noise cancelling if the audio is good on these two microphones. Let me know what you think about that in the comment section below. And now I will switch the noise cancelling on so we can see which one of these two microphones can handle or can treat the audio better than the other one. I don't know if you can see that the LED on these two microphones are in green mode which is the noise cancelling mode. So let us try test audio 1, 2, 3. There is a car passing by. The noise cancellation is on. Let me know what you think about that. Which one can handle the noise better than the other one? Which one can treat the audio better than the other one? Let me know your thoughts about that in the comment section below. I don't know if you can see that the LED on these two microphones are in green mode which is the noise cancelling mode. So let us try test audio 1, 2, 3. There is a car passing by. The noise cancellation is on. Let me know what you think about that. Which one can handle the noise better than the other one? Which one can treat the audio better than the other one? Let me know your thoughts about that in the comment section below. So why for me the DJI Mic 2? is better than the Holy Land Lark Max and the answer is not the 32-bit float of course because if I plug the receiver unit of the DJI Mic 2 to the camera I will not have the 32-bit float because almost all of the cameras these days are limited to 16 or 24 bits and not 32-bit and the only way to get the 32-bit float is onboard recording and then you have to sync the files later on on post which is an extra step if you'd like to create content quickly that's not really helpful so it's not the 32-bit float at all. In speaking of 32-bit float this one the DJI Mic 2 is way cheaper than the Rode Wireless Pro which can deliver also a 32-bit float 
and if you are hesitating between the road or this one you can save some money by buying this dji mic 2 over the road wireless pro so why for me the dji mic 2 is better than the holy land lark max and the answer is really easy because I used different cameras, the Fujifilm X-H2S, the Fujifilm X-S20, the DJI Pocket 3, the DJI Action 4, the Insta360 Ace Pro, and sometimes I use my smartphone to film some stories, some shorts for Instagram, for YouTube shorts as well. So this one can connect via Bluetooth to the Insta360 Ace Pro, to the DJI Action 4, to the DJI Osmo Pocket 3 and to my smartphone. I don't need the receiver at all to connect it there and I can use it quickly and easily without issues at all. And with the receiver unit, I can connect it to my camera, whether the Fujifilm X-S20 or the Fujifilm X-H2S. And so I will have the same quality, the same audio quality over all my units whether cameras, action cameras, or pocket cameras, I will have the same kind of audio on all my units. And that's something amazing because I'm not an audio expert and it's really difficult to manage the audio and to make it seamless between one camera and another one if you are using different microphones. But with this one, I can plug it, I can connect it to my action camera, the other one to my Fujifilm, and that's gonna let me have a better audio experience and a better audio files on my footages and that's it for today's video i hope you enjoyed it if so like comment share and subscribe that's a massive help i have lots of affiliate links in the description below by buying from my affiliate links you save some money sometimes and you help my channel a lot and you can find the affiliate link of this dji mic 2 unit in the description below as well if you would like to see some other tests between the dji mic 2 and some other microphones let me know that in the comment section below so i can start working on these topics for you and if you would like to support my channel you can be a member and a supporter for less than two euros per month that's a great help and thank you for watching ciao for now